Alright guys, and welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Rise from the Ashes. We were about to make our way towards the High Prosecutor's Office, right? Yeah, it's the only place we haven't been to, so let's go check it out. Bim, 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 bim. Whoa! Whose place is this? February 22nd, High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. This dude's balling. Is this Edgeworth's place? Look at that, look at that um picture. All right, look at that dress. No, is that clothing? Is that a picture of a, of a dress? Not a dress, you know, a shirt. I guess you can call it a dress shirt. Hmm. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. <laughs> Quite a change from your office, really. Thanks. <laughs> look, there's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What, that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whosoever offers this is, he must be a real stuck-up jerk. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice! Edgeworth! Long time no see, Edgeworth. What up? Edgeworth! Edgy Edge! Edgy Edgeworth Edgerton! What up, my brother? It's been like two months! Ah! Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> You, you know him from somewhere? Of course! I'm his biggest fan! Really? My sister introduced us once in... Right, her sister was the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a, a real stuck-up jerk. <laughs> no, did I? No! It was just Mr. Right here, he... Hey, don't blame it on me! <laughs> We're just here to investigate a murder case! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love how Edgeworth said that. Murder? A body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm. That would be my car. What of it? What? Your car? He has that red Mustang? Damn! Edgeworth is a baller. He has a damn red Mustang. You know how much those things cost? And then look at his office. You know he a baller. Baller status. I'll say one thing, she certainly can't scream. Alright, let's present my attorney's badge. <laughs> let's do it. I once dreamed of being a defense attorney a long time ago. What? You wanted to be a defense attorney, Mr. Edgeworth? Yet my path is laid out clearly before me. I have no time to reflect on what might have been, and my phone is ringing. Uh, I'm not gonna answer that. I have no time to reflect on what might have been. It's an unknown number. It's, it's usually when we get unknown numbers, it's telemarketed. Isn't that right, Edgeworth? The case. So the body was found in your car. Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Oh, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean, wait. So you're the chief prosecu er, prosecutor. <laughs> so you're the chief prosecutor's little sister then. Yes, Emma Sky. It, uh, it's nice to meet you again. Now that didn't sound forced at all. <laughs> and now I remember you've really grown. I'll admit it. It was a surprise to me too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprisingly, now I'm forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Wait, what? What did you just say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. Oh man, courtroom runbacks again. Yes. You, Mr. Edgeworth? Damn, we gotta go against Edgeworth, huh? To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors? You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Oh yeah, Miles Edgeworth. Hmm. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Origin evidence, arranging false testimonies, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. 
However, there are someone, or there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy, man. Huh. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life, impossible to stop. He has a new facial expression, you seen that? But, some of them even go as far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys, that bronze shield? They gotta be a story, there's gotta be a story behind that one. Hmm. Lana Sky. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Yes, we first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. Yes, I remember. Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person. But I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. What? What? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife kept in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Edgeworth's knife added to the court record. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? <laughs> Come on, can't he take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Right? <laughs> Yo, Edgeworth is like, what the hell you saying, bro? Oh, man. So you telling me he gave us the knife that was used as the weapon? Or the murder weapon? The murder weapon. Found in Edward's toolbox. Traces of victim's blood. No prints. Shouldn't he keep it? He gave it to us? Are you kidding me? Oh, wait. We can examine this. The blood. Oh, man. I like this feature, though. Look at that. We can zoom up on it, too, I believe. Yup. We can't rotate it, can we? I don't know how to rotate it. Huh. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either way, or either that or Edgeworth cut himself peeling an apple. What's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it in the wild, really? Edgeworth in the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. <laughs> Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. Now that is a scary thought. Anything else? Hmm. There's no way to rotate? I thought there would be a way to rotate it. Hmm. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Uh, who cares? Okay, so let's move on. Hmm. So I'm trying to think. What do we do now? We don't have any other things or any other place to go, do we? Oh, well, we, we haven't even examined everything here yet. So let's examine. First of all, let's examine. Hey, a chessboard! I'm not too up on my chess, <clears throat> but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges. Surrounding a pond with spiky hair. Nah, it's nothing. <laughs> Edgeworth is surrounding Phoenix Wright. <laughs> That's hilarious. I get it. I get it. You get it. You get it. You guys get it. You guys get it. I get it. Wow, this jacket is even lacier than the other ones. This must be this must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket, right? I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. I don't see how that's naughty. Let's look at his uh, trophy. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Um, <sighs> prosecutors. Huh? King of prosecutors. 
It's the King of Prosecutors trophy, damn it. K -k King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? <laughs> so that K, that's... K stands for King? Yeah, you got a problem with that, pal? I didn't design the thing. King of Prosecutors. Kind of like Employee of the Month, only better. King of Prosecutors trophy. Added to the court record. My, my. What an amazing... Bouquet. Yeah, I just got it right. Nice. Just right. I, it took me a while to say it, too. I was like, I hope I don't mess it up. Bouquet. And I got it right. I think I got it right anyway. But anyway, just right for Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead. Wendy. Wendy? Wendy old bag, maybe? I've heard that name somewhere before. And besides, a giant steel samurai. Wow, I want one. Huh. It's something writ written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place. Wendy. Wendy, is she Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? Oh no, Wendy old bag. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Just look at this desk. A work desk. It's quite a it's quite tidy, as one might expect. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take that name plaque as a souvenir. Is it plaque or do you just say name plate? I think you just say plate, right? Ooh, cute, what a pretty tea set. I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing. The drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They are sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at the royal blend. What an exquisitely splendid concoction. There's a such thing as taking a hobby too far. Alright. I think that's all we can do here. Hmm. Um, he doesn't have anything to say about the king of prosecutors? Nope. Wait, can we show him the king of prosecutors? And will he have some, something else to say? So in other words, you were the best of the best this year, huh? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department ceremony to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station down below, or downtown. You've been there, correct? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Alright. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him about yesterday. Edgeworth's knife. It's against my policy to discuss evidence with the defense. Especially with you. He doesn't like you much, does he, Mr. Wright? Nah, with Edgeworth, it's never personal. It's all about winning tomorrow. Good man's ID. What about this? Say, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. Mr. Wright! Huh? What? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, he'll take it sure, won't he? Uh, I wish I could be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth. But then my sister would be found guilty. If she sighs any deeper, I'm going to start getting depressed. <laughs> Damn. Let's talk to him. Maybe he has something new to say now? Yep, the day of the crime. Could you tell me more about the or about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the pros prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and rewards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got that shield, right? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12. That's very precise. P 
People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Edgeworth's parking stub added to the court record. It's a good thing we kept talking to him. I almost left. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened around right after you got back. What, right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um, whoa! This dude looks goofy. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edwards anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of Chiefs, sir. I got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Oh, uh, Sky, sir? No, sir. My name. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. Huh? I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring anything unrelated. Sir, but, but sir, <laughs> I'm just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the particulars of your Shut up and give me your name. Uh, uh sir, sir, uh, M Meekings, sir. Officer Meekings. <laughs> Meekins, take your report and leave. And get luck with that raise next month. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> but, sir, I, I didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. Damn. That sucks. Right? Yes, sir. He caught me off guard. <laughs> As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. Yo, he was going off. Alright, let's get out of here. But before that, let's present the parking stub. I'm busy preparing for tomorrow, and I'm not in the mood for idle banter. Especially not with you. Let's go, Mr. Wright. Fine, I'll just have to talk to him when, when he perks up. Alright, let's get out of here, then. So we gotta go to the police department. Bibbit. 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 Police department entrance. Let's go there. Can we go back to the detention center though? No, she's not even here. She. Let's talk to this officer. Let's see what he has to say. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He's frozen in fear of the frigid Miss Lana. I'm feeling a bit chilly myself. <laughs> Uh, right in cool law offices. Let's show her some our some of our stuff. Edgeworth's knife. Here, see this? Ah, I noticed that defense attorneys have a tendency to show people things. What is this? A behavioral study of lawyers? Whatever. Let's get out of here. She won't say anything. Unlike, unlike Maya. She doesn't even uh, look at, or she doesn't respond to the evidence you show her. Look at that. That looks like a child from Sonic. Look at it. It looks like a child. February 22nd, police department entrance. Whew. We're finally here. I need something to eat, man. I'm getting hungry. Why would they put the detective so far away from the prosecutor's office? That took almost 30 minutes by taxi, and traffic wasn't even that bad. This is my first time to the police department, actually. Hold on, what's that? The mascot of the police department, apparently. Whoa! Disturbing, why does it... Undulate like that. I don't even know how to say that, dude. That's the. F I'm seeing so many new words for the first time playing this game. Wait, I know, this is the Blue Badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright, you know a lot about the police department. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. He looks like a child. Forget the blue badger. Who's the next? Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. Hey, pal, what are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Um... 
<laughs> well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm, I'm going to take a break. Because this case, we haven't even, it doesn't even feel like we've gotten anywhere in this case. And I've been playing for like an hour. I've been playing for an hour and this case has gotten nowhere, dude. So what I'm going to do is save the game, take a short break. And when I come back, we'll be back with more Phoenix Wright. Rise from the ashes. I'll see you guys very soon.